Hey guys, it's Johnny again. Right, um, this is a response to Metal Mickey. I've done a video of um, about covers that mislead you. Um, I did have one by a band called Demon. The album was called The Plague. Uh, I had it on picture disc. I think I actually got rid of it um, this year on a Facebook group or something. And sold it. I, I don't. I don't think I kept it at all. If I have, well, um, I wish I could find it. Um, right. So I pulled out two albums. Um, one by a band that has got a misleading cover, and the other band is a band that this album cover is definitely not misleading. Um, I. I actually. As soon as I bought this record many, many years ago, I knew what I was getting into. Um, and even by the band's name, and I'll tell you that after. Right? So, this one is... Um, if you're offended, alright, which I am offended by this as well, but at the end of the day, right, yeah, it is sick. So yeah, I don't know how, you know, obviously where this band's from, they allowed this at some point at, for a short time and then they banned it. Um, I find this album cover quite misleading because if you're trying to buy, if you're buying a collection from this band, right, this band here, Scorpions, and... Um, You want to have a collect their stuff, and you know why? Why would you want to? Um, first of all, why would you want this in your collection anyway? That's sort of a weird thing because I've got it in my collection. I shouldn't be saying that. This does not make you a paedophile. Um, for owning this, this does not make you uh, the band look like they're paedophiles. Um, but if I saw this in a shop these days, right, it wouldn't be shown anyway. I wouldn't go out and buy it. I definitely wouldn't. I've got this because it's banned and it has to be in my collection. It does not come out. The only times it comes out is when I show it on here. Okay. And I don't even know if I want to show it because it's quite sick. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to. Um, I'll show you really quick. So quickly close your eyes. Honestly, close your eyes, right? And it's that one there, Virgin Killer. Um, you can all look back now, right? The guys that are offended by this, which is partially is me as well, but. Um, because of the subject matter, um, I find it very sick, and I, I don't, I don't like to have to bring this out. This is very sick. It's very misleading of the Scorpions to allow something like this. Um, I, I, I think the way it's misleading is different to what some people would say. I think that um, why should a Scorpions art, um, Scorpions fan have to take this out, keep this away from their collection um, because of what's on the front cover? Um, and what's on the front cover has got nothing to do with what is inside and what they um, what songs are on here. Um, You've got Pictured Life, Catch a Train, In Your Park, Backstage Queen, yes, the song Virgin Killer's on there. Hellcat, Crying Days, Polar Nights, Yellow Raven. I just... I think the Germans at the time were quite sick fuckers. Um, to allow that to be shown. Um, 
and for bands like you know Wasp and uh, other bands like that that would have put out a record with a cod piece on it with a blade and get it banned or um, something like that and I think how stupid that was that was pathetic compared to what this is um, but yeah that cover has got nothing to do with what's on that album um, so I really think this is, could be classed as a mis it's definitely a misleading cover um, and a sick cover at that uh, there are other albums out there that have been banned and similar to this uh, I don't own any more that look like this um, of any you know anything to you know have any young girls on it's, it's right I'm putting it away because I feel sick already right uh, uh, turn it around I only have that there from my collection it don't get ever get taken out so unless it's for you sick fuckers out there right <laughs> I'm joking um, I don't mean any of the guys in the VC no, there'd be people watching this that really wanted to see that, but I, no. Um, this, however, is exactly what I knew I was getting into when I got into this band. We we're talking about White Snake and the album Love Hunter. Now I've seen people cover this up, but it's only a bum. We've all got bums. It was the other way around, it was all full frontal and showing everything. I probably wouldn't have well I would be height I wouldn't be showing this so much, but um to be quite honest, a bum does not offend me. Um and uh yes, it's only a bum. This along with this obviously is exactly what I knew I was getting into uh, this was quite this was a bit controversial when it came out not as much as probably Virgin Killer um, this album um, you read the lyrics on this album and it's all it's been sent loads of times in books and newspaper articles about how David Coverdale writes these songs and stuff and even the members in the band at the time sort of I've even watched interviews with them and they, they were like oh my god what's he written now type thing here we go again ha <laughs> and there was yeah here we go again it's <laughs> uh, probably uh, yeah it's probably old Bernie Marsden got to uh, inspire to write that song here we go again <laughs> David's on a roll <laughs> he's writing music about women again uh, listen to Wine Women and Song listen to Love Hunter listen to um, uh, probably 95% of all the very old White Snake and you know the latest stuff as well is all about women uh, but he was more risque in the 70s and 80s uh, early 80s um even on um shall we say trouble and you read the lyrics to um I'll get it out now actually. Um there's trouble gone. Oh, not that one. Trouble on that album. Um, when you listen to uh, "Take Me With You," you read the you read the lyrics for "Take Me With You," and then you probably agree. I knew exactly what I was getting into when I listened to "Take Me With You." Um, there's no doubt about it. Um, that that guy loves the women, and uh, what red-blooded male doesn't half the time? Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm not going to deny it. I feel exactly the same. Um, and if you can write, create, um, 
write lyrics about it, all the better. And have a laugh about it as well. Um, I, if anybody out there, right, thinks that this here, right, is just about the actual snake, they're quite misled. That's the only misled thing about this album. Because if anybody doesn't know that White Snake is actually David Coverdale's penis, um, because he thinks about it using it quite a bit and uh, if you have gone out I actually you know the funny thing is recently I saw somebody on Facebook post something about Whitesnake and he's obviously uh, not he hadn't been there for a, a fan for a very long time and he would actually had a picture of a Whitesnake album or a Whitesnake, a Whitesnake record next to his record player sorry and he had a pit. No, it wasn't. It was a Restless Heart album. It was a poster thing. And he had he just gone out and acquired an actual, real, live white snake, and he had it in his arms, showing it. And he was all proud. Oh, I've gone out and I've got a white snake. And I thought, hang on a minute. You really don't know that that's nothing to do with the name of the band. And. Um, and I thought we well, didn't even have to go out and get buy a, a thing to do with the band because he's always got one between his legs, unless he's uh, ex-girlfriend or whatever or wife or has cut it off. Um, but yeah, White Snake. It's about David Coverdale's penis. Okay, just so you know, uh, and it's well documented. He even says it in interviews. So. Uh, he doesn't shy away from it um, and <laughs> I've grown up from being you know an uh, 11 year old kid and no, even knowing that myself so there's a few dimwits in the world but um, <laughs> I just laughed my head off when I saw the guy holding a white snake a real white snake thinking that was because of you know, it was what the band was about. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. White Snake's about his penis. And um, if you uh, don't know what the lyrics are or anything about any of the White Snake songs, look them up. My video is going to end, so I've got to go. Cheers for watching. Cheers. See you later. Bye bye. It's going to.